Hey, what's up guys? This is Double X here and I am going to be casting a one versus one. It is going to be between the players. Rain, the red Zerg spawning in the bottom right side and his opponent is going to be Root Destiny. Also a Zerg, but his color is going to be blue for this game and he's going to be spawning in the bottom left. This is going to be Zerg versus Zerg and the map for today's game is going to be Taldorim Altar. So Rain is a player I've never heard of before. I believe he is um, placed second or so in his master league. So not yet a grandmaster, although it's only 200 grandmasters per server. So being ranked first or second in his master league is also pretty good. So this is from the American server, by the way. And his opponent, Root Destiny, a fairly new player not a really new player but a fairly new player to the starcraft 2 scene and they, oh look at this he doesn't have a rally on his drones he has three idle workers that's now four and he doesn't even realize it what is he doing oh no this now we just realized this is going to be spell disaster for him look at the supply accounts and look at the economy for both players whoa but anyways he was a player who reached Grandmasters a couple of days ago. You can see Rain being good sport and congratulating him for reaching Grandmasters. I believe it was the 6th of June he reached it or so. And it's going to be playing for Team Root, which is a really great team with a lot of uh, great players as um, Kiwi Kaki and... Um, wow, well, it's just... Uh, empty in my head I can't think of any other replay right now but anyways they have a lot of great players and it's a great team and uh, let's see in a mirror matchup you never want to be behind like Destiny is right now he had four idle workers for a very long period of time in the beginning of this game so let's see how this game turns out they're going to be spawning close positions and uh, their o first Overlord is uh, soon about to reach the other one, but uh, we can see that Destiny is ahead in the supply and the economy, but that is only because his opponent Rain took an earlier expansion, and R Destiny himself is not going to go for that expo. He's instead going to put on a spine crawler, which is a precautionary spine crawler because he was so much behind, but. Spoiler alert, Rain just now getting up his spawning pool and his gas as well, so he's super safe without even knowing it, and he is going to throw down a Roach Warren, although Destiny has a Roach Warren of himself, so he's going to go for similar builds. The only difference is that Destiny is going for a spine crawler and his opponent Rain is going for an expansion, so if Rain can hold on to this, which I believe he's he can because of his... Uh, economy lead and his hatcher lead he is definitely going to be in even better shape with economy just skyrocketing compared to destinies although don't count on destiny yet because uh, he's not super far behind like he would have lost 20 drones or something he's just lost mining time on four drones for uh, a couple of seconds in the beginning that still matters although it doesn't matter super much it's not like he's going to lose the game or something but it will be working an uphill game from here on out we can see that rain is going for his circling speed and um, a couple of roaches meanwhile destiny is going to grab his natural expansion you can see tolerim altar is uh, fairly long between your uh, main and your natural so going to have a bunch of creep tumors here before you can uh, get out a queen and fast reinforcements to his uh, natural and we have some engagement here between circlings and roaches i wonder who's going to win that fight in straight up battle but spine crawl as you can see is the only uh, zerg building that can be off creep except for the extractors and not take damage so this bangle is just standing here waiting for this hatchery to pop up and then it can burrow right here and protect this base nicely meanwhile we can see that rain is droning up really hard he wants to saturate up his n new expansion and look at this this is just great i love circ players and all the kind of players are doing this especially on this map where your third has rocks in the way and uh, when you have uh, extra units that aren't doing anything and you're not under a lot of pressure why just 
don't send them to kill the rocks and something like that. So good use of his units. And two circlings for Destiny is going to scout up here and see that no hatchery is placed down here. So he knows that not a super early third is on the way because uh, these rocks take some time to be uh, destroyed. Now he's going to maybe go for circling by, although he doesn't have his circling speed. But he can check out here that this roach is... is destroying this rock so we know that it's potential for a third base in a while but look how many roaches destiny has wow take a look at units that we actually has uh, the same amount of roaches but uh, this is but rain coming in here with three lucky circlings as soon as the roaches uh, moved away but he has his uh, overlord here to spot for that so that's probably why he could get those circlings in and he's going to hack away some drones actually I don't know if he got any drone kill. Yes, he got one drone kill there, so not going to matter too much. Although Rain is following it up with some roaches, only five. I don't know why he's not bringing the rest of his forces. But you can see here that uh, the uh, advantage is going into Rain's favor. You can see he, ha he had a roach lead. He has the overlord lead. He had the queen lead a few seconds ago, and he has a drone lead. So that was a pretty huge deal in the beginning for Destiny to lose those workers. We can see that Rain is going for his plus one attack on his roaches. So going to stick with those for a while. Although he's getting a layer. So he could take with that. And uh, Destiny is also getting layer. I think that um, Rain will use his layer to get those roach upgrades. Which uh, is the speed. And maybe even the tunneling claws to uh, move out burden and take his opponent by surprise. And I think that Destiny will use his layer to um, take and maybe go for Mutus or something like that. And even Hydras, but um, I wouldn't recommend that in this uh, situation that he is right now in. Now he's pulling all his roaches to destroy these rocks. And uh, Rain has a Overlord here to scout for this, so he could do a circling run by here. Although Destiny has a bunch of spine crawls here, do not want to lose his second expansion, which is... Not saturated yet, but he's turning up with 8 drones at a time. But he really wants to hold on to this because he knows he's behind, so he can't afford to lose any expansions whatsoever. Third's going up for rain, and uh, so is his road speed. Like I said before, and they're both adding a, an infestation pit and an evil chamber. And we can see that rain's buildings are slightly ahead. And it's also getting a massive roach army. You can see he's going to stick with that roach army for a while. Because he's getting the speed. He's getting the uh, plus two attack right now. You can see that Destiny is grabbing his third base as well. As a response of seeing this base with this overlord. And he has a uh, fairly large amount of roaches himself. And he is going to go for the pathogen glands. That is the infest rock rate. So right when the infest is spawned, they will have the fungal growth. But can he survive that long? Wow, look at how many roaches that is. That is 24 plus 6. That is 30 roaches marching to Destiny's base. And he has to defend this. But he only has... He's at uh, 6 roach disadvantage. And he's in an upgrade advantage. So he can't hold on to this base. I would imagine he has to cancel this expansion. Yes, he does. And this drone will most likely get picked off. And now he has to be on his toes. Toes back up to these spine crawlers. This is his only way of surviving. Backing up to these spine crawlers. And Rain realizes that. And goes to dance back and forward. And snipe as many roaches as can. Passaging glass on the way for both roaches. But we can see that plus one carapace is on the way for Rain. As well as plus two attacks. So he's going to have a nice upgrade advantage on his opponent. He's also going to research Barrow. I would imagine that tunneling clause is going to be on the way. But let's see about that. Infestors on the way for both players. And we have... Extracts going up on Rain's third base, so going to have a even more eco economy lead in a while when he got those drones transferred over there. Now you can see that uh, Destiny is just now going to start up his third base again, and uh, I really think he should double expo with all that money he has. Yeah, because he's not producing anything as of now. As I said that, he uh, produced a bunch of drones and roses. But he, he, he should sneak an expansion. Maybe not here, but uh, here or something. To get that economic edge and uh, come back in this game. 
but it's doing a nice job producing Infestors, although his uh, opponent Rain is going for Infestors himself, so the player who can get the best fungal growth on his opponent is going to win this. Although, look at this, Rain is, Destiny is researching the Ventral Sacks and the Pneumatized Carapace, I believe I said that correctly. Yes, that is the Overlord speed and the Overlord drop, so we is most surely going to see a roach drop most likely in the natural or in the main to snipe some drones and we can see even see infester drops where you use that fungal growth on the drones but look at this rain is getting a even uh, bigger advantage in getting that layer up he's and he's also getting a fourth base somewhat hidden behind these bush bushes but it is the closest fourth to take because this would just be too risky for him to take right now. Now you can see Destiny is saturating up his third expansion and uh, he's still on road check and the only thing that's keeping him in this game is the spine crawlers. And it's also, he also has the infestors. And uh, he can utilize that drop play, which Rain hasn't gone for yet. But Rain is going for a Spire as well. So he could upgrade his Spire to a Greater Spire once it completes. Because he has the Hive Tech now. And that would just be devastating for Destiny. Who doesn't have any anti-air whatsoever except for Queens. And I think I saw a Spore Crawler go up. Yes, there it is. So not much in response if Rain would go for Broodlords. And I don't know if he realizes that or not. But here comes the Overseer for Rain, actually. So, I thought that was uh, Destiny's Overseer, but never mind. Now you can see that Destiny is droning up even harder. He's getting 11 drones at the same time. And is also getting a bunch of uh, Spine Crawlers. And look at this. Rain is maxed out and he has that uh, upgrade advantage. All and he has that plus 3 on the way as well as the plus 2 armor on the way I so he's going to move out now and uh, do as much damage as he can with this army if not end the game he will have a strong economy to fall back and look at how many resources he has uh, banked up and he has double evil chambers going and then he can just fall back and produce a lot of brood lords or he can just produce a massive amount of roaches if he uh, if he uh, If he don't have the money to produce the blue rose. But here comes the engagement. And uh, Rain wants to trick Destiny to move down the ramp. Because he can't see up the ramp. And nice fun growth from Destiny. is going to pick up a bunch of roaches. And even one infester getting fun growth. And there goes the infestors. And soon will the roaches go. But no more fungal growth from Destiny. As that would just be too much on the... This bunch of roaches, but nice engagement from the back here. And fun growth on all the roaches. And Destiny doesn't have his infestors here to... Uh, Fungal growth, range roaches, so this will just be a hater for range roaches, but there comes the infestors from Destiny. But these infestors had just done so much and have so much energy left, spewing out infested terrains and now borrowing to uh, regenerate that health. And they are on creeps, so they will regenerate that so, so fast. And now I'm borrowing and just they will have to book it out of there. And now if you see that plus three armor is coming up as well as the miss missile attacks level three, four, Rain, so I don't see how Destiny can come back for, from this because he only has spine crawlers, roaches, and infestors, then that is not going to do much. Even though he holds these attacks off when he's as such an army lead, uh, an economy lead, and uh, no disadvantage and upgrade disadvantages, Rain can just fall back and produce an enormous amount of. Uh, Corruptors and upgrading with blues, but look at this destiny dropped all his infestors, but is and it's going to fun growth No, it's not going to fun growth, but it's going to spew infestors all over the place and Possibly pick off this high, but it's not focus firing anything It possibly want the drones, but that won't matter if destiny can break this entrance of um, If rain can break this entrance of destiny, but I don't think he can because of all those fine calls and infestors But he's going to try because he knows that if he can take this expo that Destiny can't come back because he has his fourth up here when he can transfer all his drones, which is two. But look at this. Rain has actually lost all his base and bases and is suddenly looking really, really bad shape. 
but you gotta remember that Destiny has no mining going on whatsoever, so he's gotta hold on to this base, and he realizes that and builds a ton of spine crawlers, and Rain wants to pick up this before they spawn, but he will have to book it out of there when they spawn, and if Festus there all over the place, I don't think that Rain can take this, and I think that Rain will lose, actually, because of this. He should have just fallen back and made a bunch of rulers, but no, he's going to go for this silly attack in the front. Now his hive tech is going to go down, so we will have no base here. And you only have this base with a bunch, with no drones whatsoever. She really produced a queen up here. But we can see now that both players have, uh, is not confronting each other here anymore. But we can see that Rain is outside of uh, Destiny's base. But if Destiny can just get some creeps spreading on, he can uh, be uh, effective with the spine cross and push rain outside his base but rain it's not doing a smart move here in my opinion because all those infested terrans is just going to have a hater at those roaches but he's trying to pick up the last drones of destiny and when these drones are dead destiny can't mine at all so <coughs> and uh but but he himself can um, have some mining going on up here and there comes the queen with the inject and he's he's not going to produce more roaches but i don't think I can tell who's going to win this yet, but Rain has the disadvantage because he can't. He has so few roaches and uh, he has no infestors. And this contain of uh, of spinegrass won't be broken for a very long time. And here comes the hero o lords with the infestors going to pick up this expansion, and this will be game, I believe. Rain cannot hold on to so this many infest. There will just few infest turns all over the place, and then it will be over. Rain realizing that and he's going in for the kill with those roaches, going to pick off that roach horn, but those uh, brulings will maybe kill off some roaches. And how's it going here? Will Rain survive this? I think he will survive this round of infest turns, but you know what? Infest turns don't cost money, they cost energy, so uh, Destiny can just rebuild that at any time he pleases. And uh, he should really escape with some drones. This is the only drones that Rain has left and he also has these roaches and these roaches and uh, he won't ne he won't ever be able to kill destiny but i don't think destiny has any roaches left and now rain doesn't have any uh, base left and he doesn't have money to produce a base so he's dead he's officially dead he can't produce anything more he only has 260 that is not enough for a hatchery and what is he doing both players haven't got any hatchery. Nice fungal growth on those roaches. And now they're going to be fungal growth over and over again. And there's nothing that Rain can do about it. So I would imagine he's going to GD an enemy. But no, he built a hatchery. That's why his m money was so low there. So if he can hold on to this hatchery, he will be in good shape. And here comes uh, Destiny's Overlord maybe to scout that. But this has two drones. I don't think that Destiny knows about it and rain says this can't be life lol and now destiny is in a nice shape and it's going to kill off a few of rain's remaining roaches and uh, if rain doesn't do something with this hatcher then it's going to get um, destroyed but now root rebuilt his hatchery and they don't realize how close they are to each other i believe but uh Rain realized that the uh, Rude Destiny rebuilt somewhere, so this is just a strange, strange game. But I would say that the, our Grandmaster player Root has the uh, advantage here because of all those spine crawlers, and he should really uproot them and pull them on the creep, or even just uproot them because they don't take damage when they're unborrowed. But uh, he doesn't realize that, and uh, the AI won't tell you when you're. Spikers are getting damaged by this, but he is going to rearrange it onto the creep and has his creep tumors going, so these will survive forever. And the game will have to go on for so long for Rain to be able to break down all these buildings and kill Destiny. And he also has to deal with all these infestors, which I don't think he will ever be able to. And now Destiny has found Rain's base. 
And Rain does, doesn't, Rain doesn't have anything to shoot down this Overlord with, so we'll just have to have nice focus fire on those festers, infestors as soon as they pop, but it's going to drop on the high ground with just smart move by Destiny. And no, Rain moving his sword is too close and uh, was not able to get fun growth, but now comes the fun growth and all the infestors and this is going to be game Destiny is doing a great job with all those investors and there comes the GG from Rain. so great play really showing that uh, the Grandmaster player is smarter than the Masters player because I don't think that Rain should have pushed in with all his units here he should have backed off and uh, relied on his Broodlord tech which he had going for him and uh, Disney didn't have much anti-air whatsoever that would be the infested turns but they don't do squat to Broodlords because uh, usually the uh, roaches will pick off them if you have the uh, the roach support, which you would have had by then. But good game indeed, Destiny. I will be signing out, casting some more later maybe. But I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoy this.